praise the Lord, my soul. It's a very beautiful line, and it's something that is experienced in the practice of Christianity, the practice of our faith, where our soul rejoices in this mysterious encounter with the Christ. There's a very beautiful line in the Psalms where it says, My heart and my flesh rejoice in the living God. For we are a soul and body composite as one human person. And as one of my philosophy professors used to mention, that sensation is where flesh and soul meet as they're co-joined in a real way. For there are times where our heart leaps for joy just thinking about the good and holy things of our religion. These experiences are meant to help us to rejoice in Christ's redeeming presence as someone who's not distant but very close, always seeking to sanctify and save us as the Redeemer of the world. And these experiences are also there to remind us to remain on the path to continue to journey with the Christ. It is recorded that one of the saints, Ramold, was often captured by the saving presence of Christ in such a way that he was moved to tears. And when he was moved to speech, not forced to speak about these things or say these things to try to make experiences happen, but when he was moved by the living God in his life, he would say things like, Beloved Jesus, beloved, sweet honey, indescribable longing, delight of the saints, sweetness of the angels. For Christ is the redeeming power of God to our souls. And what moves the saints to speak in such a way is Christ's real redeeming power and love experienced throughout their lives as someone redeemed and guided from a life of destruction toward the path of salvation, as a person led by a good shepherd to feast in the field of holy things and taught the life of virtue and all the joys that come with it, as a soul being led toward eternal life. 